Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this really fun plaid design. This is super easy to do uh, once you get the hang of it and you can pretty much do it over any color. So whatever color your client is wanting, you know, you can kind of create a little custom plaid design for them. And I think that these colors that I went with are really soft and gorgeous. Um, we also have this like dark caramely color as well. And yeah, so let's jump right in. And I'm gonna tell you first what colors I used for these. So all the colors in today's video are from Fiote. This is a Korean gel company. And these are all syrup gels. So what that means is they are all slightly sheer. So they all have this kind of like milky consistency, slightly sheer, semi-sheer look to them. So you might not be able to tell uh, that much over the design, but they kind of like fade out towards the edges and they just look kind of milky and not like a true solid opaque color. And I just think it adds this softness. I think that they are very um, underrated and I think they're just so gorgeous and soft and they just look beautiful. So I wanted to use those for the design and um, I will just show you kind of what they look like straight out of the bottle here. So they do have some pigment to them, definitely. They're not extremely sheer. They're just more milky. So you can build them up and like one coat, this is all I used one coat for the design, but if you did two coats or even like three thin coats, you can build it up to more of an opaque color, but it's still gonna have that kind of milkiness, which I love. And I get these from Zillabue.com and you can always use my code from them, which is KD10. It'll save you 10%. So I'll make sure and link everything that I use in the tutorial in the description box. So just to show you kind of the colors that I used in case you're curious, um, this one is CP07, orange tangerine color. This one on the end is CP10. It's a nice turquoisey blue. We have this nice green, which is CP09, which is the center one here. And we have CP11, which is the purple. And these are all from the same collection. These are all from, it's called the Picnic Day Collection, and they're just these gorgeous, like, soft colors. And then I also went with a darker one. This one is NU02, and so that's this kind of. Let's go and get started. Super easy, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. So I grabbed this color here. This is CP12. I'm just gonna apply one coat of this over the nail, and you'll see that, like, milky look to these. So as you can see, it's slightly sheer. You can still see through it a little bit. I'm just going to adjust a little bit of the gel right here that's kind of pulling. I'm gonna give this a cure now in my lamp. All right, so now what we need is a square brush. And one that I have is the block brush from Light Elegance but it's just this little square brush. So any type of like square brush you have, you could also use a striping brush, but you're gonna have to like create multiple stripes in order to create the kind of big, thicker line that we're gonna make. So whatever you got, try that first. If it doesn't work, then I would recommend a square brush. And then we're also gonna use a white gel paint um, this one I've been trying out. It is the Level Up Liner in White. This is from Nails by Dev on Instagram, which she is amazing with hand-painted characters and art and stuff. So um, I've been trying out her white gel paint, which I really like. So that's what I'm gonna use today. So I'm gonna get a palette out and I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that white gel paint and just kind of work it into my brush like this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Working it in my brush because I don't want too much product on the brush because I want it to look kind of like 
a brush stroke or I want it to look a little like streaky kind of like I don't want it to look like a perfect solid coverage stripe so I'm just working that in and then what we're gonna do is create two lines now going down the nail so vertical and honestly the best way to do this is to just like once you put your brush down just commit to that line if you go too slow I feel like sometimes you get kind of shaky and then the line starts to kind of get a little wiggly and stuff getting some of the white gel paint and again I'm just placing and drag just like that it's a little bit more um, artistic I think so it doesn't have to be this like perfect straight line okay then I'm gonna go on the other side and just drag it down just like that I think that looks pretty good I don't want to mess with it too much because the more I mess with it the more you know things are gonna happen so I'm just gonna give this a quick flash cure in my lamp before we do the horizontal lines all right so the reason I flash cure is because anytime you're going to cross over some other lines that you already made if I didn't flash cure it's going to kind of run together a tiny bit where I cross over if you want to keep your lines super crisp where they meet then you want to make sure and flash cure before you are going to create another line that crosses over okay I did just do some horizontal lines and then I decided to wipe it off because they were just a little bit too crooked for me so we're just gonna start where we left off so I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna place my brush and I'm actually gonna pull the nail so I'm gonna create this first line in the middle and go about halfway I'm not worrying about going all the way over and then this one at the top and one at the bottom all right those look pretty good better than last time last time they were a little wonky so i had to wipe them off and so now i'm going to start in the center and connect to the other side i think that looks pretty good and so now we're going to flash cure this so we're going to keep our white gel paint out and this time i'm getting a striping brush um this one's also from light elegance i also have an ugly duckling one that i like to use a lot kind of whatever you have again and so i'm just going to dip my striping brush into some of the gel paint and i'm going to run it through my brush and so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a thin line in between these two big ones all right just like that and then i'm going to flash cure this before i do a horizontal one again because i don't want them to run together i want the lines to stay nice and crisp so i'm going to make sure and re-coat my brush with some more white gel paint and I'm going to go in between the second and third one now flip the nail and then connect the lines if you have a hard time going across just like that so again flash cure now I'm gonna wipe my brush from the white gel paint because we're done with that and now I'm going to be using the metallic gold gel paint. This is from haynails.com. I do have a coupon code for them as well, which is KD10. And this is that really cool metallic gold gel paint that I'm sure a lot of you have seen on social media. They also have a silver. And so I just think this is so fun. It just adds that like perfect metallic little pinstripe there. So this is the gold shade it is a lighter gold i will say it's not a super strong yellow gold so i just like to say it's a light gold so again we're going to use our striping brush get some of this on the nail or on the brush and for this line i'm actually going to go over top of this thick line that we made over here to the right side 
just like so. And I find that these metallic gel paints, if you give them just a couple seconds to sit before you cure it, the like metallic pigment or whatever makes them look metallic will kind of rise to the top and it will look even shinier if you just give it a second to sit. So I'm gonna um, then flash cure this and then we're gonna do one horizontal line. All right, so that's flash cured now. And for the horizontal one, I'm going to go right above the first thicker line or right below it. The metallic gel paint just adds that like perfect little extra touch to it that I think is really pretty. And so I am gonna give this a final cure and then we are going to top coat. So for top coat, I'm gonna use the Izemi Resin Top Coat in mid, which is like their medium viscosity top coat. And it'll cover over all of this nail art really nicely. This is a sticky top coat, so you will have to wipe the tacky layer afterwards. But I just love these top coats. They go on so nice. All right, what do you guys think of the look? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely tag me on social media if you um, tried this out and recreated it. I also wanted to add that this idea came from Instagram, um, from this account right here. Um, I'm probably gonna mispronounce her name, but looks like her name is Kim McYoung. So I didn't want to take full credit for this. She has a lovely plaid tutorial right here that I was inspired by. I believe she used some like striping tape or foil tape on hers and it's just so gorgeous. Again, all the products will be down in the description box. Don't forget to follow me on social media and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.